Hi everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to share this video with you. And for those of you who maybe have been trying to figure out how to how to uh, share or copy over music and apps uh, from one computer's iTunes to another computer's iTunes, and I use Macs, okay? So from one Mac to another Mac, let's say you purchase a new Mac and your iTunes there is empty and you wanted to get your music and apps from your older Mac onto this new Mac, right? And I spent a lot of time researching this on Google, and I found many links and posts describing it, but nothing really worked for me, especially because a lot of those posts were older posts prior to the latest iTunes update. And uh, if you can look at my screen right now, you'll see that the version of iTunes I'm using is 12.4. So a lot of those posts you'll find on Google uh, won't work because they are talking about earlier versions of iTunes where different functions were still available back then. Now those functions aren't available, and so I had to find a workaround all by myself, and I came up with what I'm about to show you. So this is for you, and I hope this is valuable for you if you want to transfer your music files apps from one Mac to a new Mac. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to... I'm currently on my new Mac, and I'm actually going to do this real time so you'll actually see how this is done. So I've got iTunes open up here, and I'm going to go to File, iTunes File, and Home Sharing, and I'm going to click Turn on Home Sharing, right? So I'm just going to blank this part out so you don't really see it. <laughs> All right, so I've entered my username and password, and it says Home Sharing is now on. Okay, now what I'm going to do is click OK. And now, because home sharing is on, you go and go to your older computer, right? The computer you want to transfer stuff from, go to that computer and do the same thing. So go to iTunes, open up iTunes, go to File, Home Sharing, and turn on Home Sharing on that computer too, right? It should be the same iTunes, you know, Apple ID and username, right? If it's a different one, it's not going to work. It has to be the same account. Now, once that's done, you'll be able to click on this tab here, which says music right now, okay? And you'll see the other computer listed. So it says this computer, well, this is, com this is the computer, the newer computer, and it says Mindraj library. So that's the older computer, right? When I click on that, now what's shown here is the other computer's content, okay? So if I just click on songs right here, You'll see these are all the songs I have. Now, bear in mind, these two computers right now are connected over my Wi-Fi network. Okay, I'm using Wi-Fi, and so they're detecting are they over Wi-Fi. Now, sometimes it does work a bit faster if you just take um, a LAN cable, right, and connect one computer to the next using a LAN cable. It can, it might work faster. But my Wi-Fi connection is pretty fast, so I'm going to go ahead with this. So all you do is you just select all your music tracks, for example, and click Import. That's all you do. See this Import button here? So basically, Command A selects all the music tracks and click Import. And all the music will be imported into from the old computer, right, which is the Mahindra Raj library, into this computer. That's what's going to happen. Now, the other option you have is to click on Settings and also select this, tick off all these boxes. So it says Automatic Transfer New Purchases from Mahindra Raj's Library, which is the other computer, for music, movies, TV shows, books, and apps, whatever you want, right? You can do that. For the purposes of this video and for my purpose today, I'm just going to go ahead and select all and click Import, and boom. The process is being done in the background. You can see up here, it's saying copying six out of 3,646. So that's going to, it's going to take a while. And like I said, you know, if you want a faster process for this, uh, use a LAN cable, but I'm pretty happy with my Wi-Fi right now. So I hope this has been really helpful for you. Once that's complete, once that process is complete, basically in this computer's iTunes, right, I could literally go back to this computer and you'll see all your music files. In fact, you can already see a whole bunch of uh, new music files here, although 
a lot of them still aren't copied. They're being copied over. All right. I hope this has been tremendously valuable for you and that this works for you in transferring your music files from your older computer to your newer one. And enjoy your music files. Once again, my name is Mahindra Raj. Have a great day.